Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Monday, June 6th, the 10th week of Ordinary Time, and it is the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. And this is a, a new liturgical feast that was added by Pope Francis uh, to the liturgical calendar in March of 2018. Very fitting. We just get done with the Easter season, all about Jesus and the resurrection. Then we go straight to celebrating our Blessed Mother. So um, it celebrates the Blessed Mother under the title uh, that was officially conferred upon her during the Second Vatican Council um, as Mother of the Church. So today's Gospel is from John chapter 19, verses 25 through 34. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other, who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he, that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. So we have Jesus dying on the cross, and then those at the foot of the cross beside him, Mother Mary, Mary Magdala, and of course John the Beloved Apostle who took care of Mary. And this is where Jesus, his last words, one of his last words is handing us over to Mother Mary as our Heavenly Mother for all of humanity. Um, what is important here, I think, or what's a, a key note here, is that the soldier, let me do a quick Google search. The soldier who pierced the side of Jesus is none other than Saint Longinus. Um, he is declared a saint, um, but I believe, let me find it correctly, sorry, um, but he had some sort of issue. Um, he had some sort of blindness or eye problem that was not mentioned until, this, until after the 10th century, but after the blood of Jesus and the water that flowed from his side, it, it instantly healed his eye problem. And so um, that right there, like he had a conversion moment right there at the lancing and the piercing of, the, of, of Jesus on the cross. So that is not to be minimalized. I mean, that's huge. So Jesus, no matter who you are, what you've done, how you've been, he will never leave you, and he wants to save you, and he he loves you, and he will do it all do it all over again on the cross, no matter what. So it's our Christian duty to love him and to spread the love of the gospel to others. But we have to be convicted and convinced of him in our heart first. So how are we doing that? With all that being said, have a great day. God bless. Keep it real, Mother Mary. Pray for us. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.